What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install the turtleneck FX on pretty much any bike. Today we're gonna do it on the Aventon Cinch. This is not gonna be a review of the bike. I just wanna show you guys how to make your bike cool. First thing I'm gonna do is unbox the bike. Let's check out what we're working with. This is gonna be a fat tire folding e-bike. The vent is pretty popular at this point. Like I, I know a lot of people have made videos on this particular bike. I will be doing a review, but today I just wanted to show you how to install BMX bars. This is primarily for anybody that has a folding e-bike. Um, but if you have a bike and you wanna put my folding stem on there, you could definitely add it to your bike for sure. And here's the bike, looks like we got a red. Oh yes, this is the one I wanted too. Dude, check this freaking bike out. So we ended up getting the red step through. And the reason why I really like this bike is because of these freaking tires, guys. Tan walls, come on now. And I believe they're 20 by four. Oh my God. Am I living a dream or what? You guys know I love a good fat tire folding e-bike. And this one is one of the most beautiful ones out right now. Hinge needs to be greased. Oh my God, is it like damn near impossible to unfold this bike? Dang, I hate when it's like that, dude. Some of these folding bikes, it's like super easy to fold and unfold. This one's like super tight. Whew, I feel sorry for you freaking 60 year olds. All right guys, and here's the bike. I like it, I've always liked this one. I think that color combo is like super dope. Red with the tan, come on now. Now we're gonna add the BMX bars and it's really gonna transfer the whole look of this bike, watch. All right, so here's the turtleneck fx right here brand spanking new it's super easy so the first thing that we got to do is take off this giraffe neck stem once you fold down your bars you want to remove this top cap right there this is just a little cover that you need to pop off if i can get it off all right there's the cover and then next you're going to get an allen wrench and you're going to completely remove this bolt right here once that's completely loosened you want to remove these bolts right here on the side actually just loosen them you don't have to remove them once those bolts are loose you can just slide the giraffe neck stem off of the steer tube we're just going to set that to the side for now all right so if you own and a Vinton cinch, you will not need a quill stem adapter. Um, the easiest way to know if you will need a quill stem adapter is if you pull off the giraffe neck stem and it has a quill on the bottom, then you will need a quill stem adapter. If not, if it looks like this, you won't. And next we're gonna get our turtleneck stem and we're gonna fold it down like that, okay? Now, here's the tricky part. You have to install this a certain way. The easiest way to know if you're doing it right is if this back notch is in line with your, your, your wheel, like your tire pretty much. So we're gonna slide this on to the steer tube. Next, we're gonna get our top cap and bolt and we're gonna screw that back into the steer tube. You don't wanna screw it too tight, just tight enough. All right, next we're going to close the stem and now we have to align it with the front tire. So you wanna make sure that this line right here on the back of the stem is in line with that front tire. So this is the position that your stem should be in. 
these bolts should be kind of to the side reason being is because when you fold the handlebars down you want them to fold down this way all right next you need to tighten these bolts on the side right here make sure that these are super tight Once this is securely on there, now you're going to take off this top cap on the Turtle Neck FX. Next, you're going to put on your BMX stem. I chose this tan one just to go with the tan wall tires. And once you put the stem on there, you just want to tighten that top cap right back on. All right, once these bolts are tightened, now you want to loosen up these bolts completely so you can add your BMX bars. This part is super easy. You're going to mount the bars onto the stem and then tighten down those bolts once again. Check out the bars now. Super dope, right? Super dope. All right, next we're going to transfer all the components from those handlebars to the new ones. This time I'm actually going to show you guys how to do it. Normally I'll speed through this part because it's actually pretty simple, but a lot of you guys have been asking for me to do it, so here we go. What are we going to take off first? We're going to take off these grips, okay? Luckily these are locking grips, so all you need to do is loosen up this bolt right here, right there, and they slide right off. But um, if you own like electric XP or any other e-bike that doesn't have locking grips, you're gonna to need to use some soapy water, okay? Just a little bit. And all you do is just put the soapy water underneath this uh, grip right here. And once it gets in there, you can just slide it right off. Super simple. So this grip actually has two uh, screws. So we're just gonna loosen up those. And the grip should slide right off. There you go. All right. Next, we're going to do this brake. It's typically the same on all the brakes, so there's gonna be a Allen bolt right here. You actually just need to loosen it. You don't have to completely take it off. And now the brake should slide right off. All right, next we're gonna do this throttle. This throttle has a little Allen screw as well, and if you have a uh, half twist throttle, those have a tiny little Allen screw right underneath. You have to really like look for it, but it's very tiny. Just loosen up that screw and then the throttle just slides right off. You might need to disconnect the cable just so you can slide it off. It's perfectly fine. You're not going to mess up the bike. Um, yeah, and just slide it right off. And then next we're gonna take off this control panel right here. And it's the same thing, it's a tiny little Allen screw right there. Dude, I'm telling you, it's super easy. Since this control panel is connected to the LCD screen, I think it's smart to take off the LCD screen first and then we can slide off this uh, control panel. Let's actually do that. In order to do that, it also has some um, Allen screws on the back side as well. We're just gonna loosen those. We're actually gonna take these all the way out. Now we should be able to take off this LCD screen. All right, now we can slide off this control panel. Now we're gonna move on to the other side of the handlebars. We got the right side grip this time. Gonna loosen up these bolts. All right grip is off. Next we're going to do the brake lever. So we're going to move the shifter over. So now we can access this bolt right here. All right, that's loose enough. We should be able to slide everything off now. Okay, and everything is off. Now here is an exposed giraffe neck stem. We're going to throw this in the trash. Writing testament, painting pictures, put me in the mood. That's a definite universal shift. I'm in the pool. A celebrity do not mean integrity. I'm a good man. Shake your hand. Burn grip. Give me two hands. Start ten. Balling with the flu. More than two hands. For sure. But add another two. Mm -hmm. Little M-Man. The big man. It's a GT. Down. Flipping the cage stand. Oh. Oh. Nigga. Oh. 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 Oh.
phone. Trying to keep the balance, I'm staying strong. Stop playing with me before I turn you to a song. Stop playing with me before I turn you to a song. Hey, bitch, I'm attractive. Can't fuck with you no more. I'm fast and good. Bitch, I'm attractive. Can't fuck with you no more. I'm fast and good. Alright guys, well, that was the instructional video on how to install the Turtleneck FX. If you guys have any further questions, leave a comment down below. And if you guys haven't picked up a Turtleneck FX, head over to davidbrandnew.com. Go ahead and get you guys one. I guarantee it will change your life. I know it will change your bike. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it looks incredible. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a full-blown review on this bike. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Until the next one, deuces like that. Yeah. <laughs>